It's a burning fire in my soul. We can all use more love to save the world. And if you feel that joy in your heart, hold on, don't let it part. This is Nature Ellis, and you're tuned into Big Stone Television with the vision. Pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Big Stone Television. There is a picture hanging on the wall. I need a big heel boots and a calico shirt. We go dance this art festival. You know what I'm talking about. One of the biggest, sweetest voice ever to come out of Jamaica. As a young man, I used to look up to Freddie McKay because he was so soulful of a singer. Who is Freddie McKay gone too soon? A soulful singer whose plaintive delivery was rarely equal. Why Freddie McKay never saw the success he so rightly deserved from almost two decades of recording remains one of the great unsolved mystery of reggae music. Even with a quarter of a century hindsight, it is difficult to understand how and why a singer as talented as Freddie McKay could make so many classic records and still remain a relatively uncelebrated figure. Born in the parish of St. Catherine in 1947, there are few biographical details or artist interview that can shed any light on the background of this giant of Jamaican music. All we have is a collection of wonderful records. His untimely death of a brain hemorrhage in 1986 robbed reggae of one of its most singular yet unsung singers. He began recording in 1967 as Ska gave way to Rocksteady and giving you a try girl and go on girl were released back to back on Prince Buster's Olive Blossom label in Jamaica and on Blue Beat in the UK. The wonderful Fine, Fine, Fine for Beverly's was confusingly credited to Frederick McLean and his breakthrough hit produced by Ducreed and released later that year. Love is a Treasure was credited to Freddie McLean. This mournful song of lost love catapulted Freddie to the top rank of Rocksteady vocalists and the competition was seriously stiff. In the early 70s, Freddie moved to Brentford Road where, with the mighty soul defenders providing the musical accompaniment, he produced a consistent body of work for Mr. Dodd. Money, this label. The hits include his highly individual interpretation 
of Larry Williams and his band High School Dance, Sweet You, So Are You. The reality theme, Father Will Cut You Off, and the massive picture on the wall, which provided the title for his debut album on the Studio One label. The first cut of his career defining, I'm a free man, dates from this period, and this Monday Day's seven inch release remains one of his best and most sought after records. I was born in this life, with life, and I've got to live the life that is right. I am a free man. Never contracted to one label or producer, Freddie recorded sparingly over the next few years. His second album, Lonely Man, released in Dynamic in 1974 and produced by Warwick Lynn and Neville Hines featured a further version of I'm a Free Man. Essential 7-inch records such as the captivated Rockabye Woman first released on Rod Bryan's Hot Rod label helped to establish his legendary status. Version by Harry Sandy and Jabul as Eitel Vital, this ever popular record is regularly played out by discerning selectors. Another version of I'm a Free Man for youth producer Leonard Santic Chin, Leonard Chin and complete with mournful melodica proved massively popular and provided the rhythm track for one of Augustus Pablo's most memorable early outing, Hap Kido. Freddie, chilling version to Dennis Brown Monumental, At the Foot of the Mountain, produced by Eddie Wong, entitled Won't Get Away, was yet another certified classic from this period. Freddie traveled down to Channel One and Maxwell Avenue in 1976, where Freddie's big heel boots and bell foot pants, propelled by Sly Dunbar, military double drumming, proved irresistible. Dance this a festival, won the festival sound contest for that year, and Halving G.G. Wrangling released the best of Freddie McKay, a superb collection of newly recorded sounds, and at a career retrospective the following year. Freddie continued to record top class material, up for a number of different producers until his untimely death. A retrospective album combining his best work for the many producers he worked with would surely place him at the pinnacle of his profession. But it is highly unlikely that the licensing agreement necessary for this could ever be arranged. To all those who know Freddie McKay, he is one of the greats. Sadly, not enough people do think so. The late Freddie McKay never archived the degree of consistent success his talent deserved or left an album that quite did it justice. Instead, his work was scattered over obscured 45 on many different labels. What a voice, what a voice. I remember, ladies and gentlemen, as a young man listening to the beautiful, soulful voice of Freddie McKay and actually meeting Freddie McKay personally was very uplifted and up-tempered to get involved as a singer into the line of music. Music became my first choice when I heard the melodious voice of Freddie McKay. Freddie, you came, sir. You saw and you definitely conquered. To your family, my heartfelt condolences, even though it is many, many years later but you'll always be in my mind and I know scattered right around the world, right around the globe, wherever reggae music is associated. The name Freddie McKay is synonymous with Bob Marley and greatness. Sleep well, O oh fallen soldier. You did what you had to do. You was born in this life with life and you've got to live the life that is right. You are now, sir. A free man. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time for you to do so. Thank you so much.